Veterinary medicine is a really popular profession. There are a lot of people that would like to be veterinarians, but sometimes they don't understand what it takes to become a vet. So I thought that I'd go over that a little bit with you today. Um, bottom line is it takes about seven years of college to become a veterinarian, and that's minimum these days. So you have to have three to four years of undergraduate study, usually four years, then you apply to the veterinary program, and then you do another four years of the veterinary program. Many veterinarians these days are also choosing to go on with an internship that would be approximately one year, and then sometimes a residency as well, which is another three years. Those veterinarians are usually going to specialize in a certain area of veterinary medicine. There are really only 28 veterinary schools in the United States, which is an important thing to think of. With our 50 states, only approximately half of them have a veterinary college. So that does make it a little more competitive than some of other professions that have more schools. Approximately 2,000 veterinarians graduate from veterinary school every year, so that's really not a very large number. Most of the classes in the veterinary schools range from about 60 students up to the largest, which is about 150 students. Admission to veterinary school is pretty competitive. Um, usually you'll have about three to four applicants for each person that's accepted. I would say the minimum GPA for a student entering veterinary school would probably be about a 3.0, but most of the applicants are going to range from 3.5 to 4.0 on their grade point averages. So if you are interested in veterinary medicine, it's very important to try to keep your GPA up. As many of you may know, once you have a semester with a poor GPA, it's very hard to get that back up. So you're looking at a GPA of approximately 3.5 to 4.0. Um, both men and women are attracted to the profession. Um, in the last couple of decades, though, we've seen a huge rise in the number of women that are in veterinary schools, and actually the current classes are about 80% women, so there's been quite a shift in the roles and the genders for veterinary school. Um, oftentimes, as I mentioned, some veterinary applicants will even have advanced degrees, and partially that's because sometimes they have to wait to get admitted. They may do more than one application, and during that point, it, during that time, it's a good idea for them to do other things in education. So oftentimes they'll get a master's degree or a PhD degree. Um, there are also students who do those combined with their veterinary school. So these days you can get an MBA, a master's, a master's in public health, or a PhD along with your veterinary degree. So these folks are going to a lot of school. I went to school 20 years ago and things were a little simpler then, um, but it was still very competitive to get in. And of course, there's been a huge information explosion in veterinary medicine, so the students have to learn a lot now. And the good news is there are a lot of things that can be done for animals by veterinarians, but there's a lot to learn. It's pretty expensive to attend veterinary college, so that's important to know. A typical debt load for a veterinary student is about $100,000 over that four years, and oftentimes, of course, they have to get loans and pay that back once they become working, a working veterinarian. Um, the average starting salary is about $68,000 a year, so comparatively, that's a fairly low salary for what you might get with some professions. So that's just something that you at least have to keep in mind that um, the, the debt ratio is fairly high with veterinary school, but it is a very rewarding profession, and I would encourage anybody that's interested to learn more about it. Um, bottom line, you know, many people think of veterinarians as just doctors in clinics, like I'm standing here, they're seeing small animals, maybe exotic animals, or small and large animals. It's important to know, though, that there are a lot of careers. Uh, basically, veterinary medicine is a profession, and within that profession, there are many careers that someone could choose. Um, some of the career paths that you would see would be, one is industry, and actually, I work in industry now. I practiced for 20 years in a clinic, and now I work for a company, So, and it is a veterinary company. Veterinarians are also used in public health, you may be aware that veterinarians are responsible for our food safety and for food inspection. They're also very important in the military and in various arms of the government, such as the FDA, the CDC, APHIS. So they're very important in the uh, government. 
There also is a big trend now for what we call one medicine, where it's become very important that and apparent that human and veterinary medicine really go hand in hand, and that in order to keep animals healthy, you also are keeping people healthy. And there are diseases that can go from animals to people that are important for veterinarians to monitor and to help control. The other thing, as I mentioned, are veterinarians that go on into advanced studies, and those veterinarians are either going to work in specialty practices, they may do research or teaching, and some people are not aware that in veterinary medicine you have internists and surgeons and ophthalmologists and neurologists, dermatologists, oncologists, and people who specialize in all of the different fields that you might see in human medicine. So it's important to know that there are a lot of things that a veterinarian can do, and many of us will have a career change during our time in the profession. If you don't think you want to commit to that many years of college, then sometimes a veterinary technician degree would be appealing. That usually requires a community college study of about two years, and so that's something that you might also want to look into. There are often classes for veterinary assistants and for veterinary technicians. And these people are very, very important to the veterinary profession and give the veterinarians all of the support that they need. So they can be very interesting jobs. There are also agricultural jobs that would have to do with animals that would closely align with veterinary medicine. So for more information, uh, you might want to check with your local veterinarian or maybe you have a veterinary school nearby. And as far as internet resources, the AVMA, which is the American Veterinary Medical Association, has a website and it's avma.org.